Good afternoon, family and friends. It is my honour and privilege to be here on behalf of Sophie and Michael as their celebrant and celebrating their love story with you all. Welcome, everybody. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, friends and family, it's an absolute honour to stand here today as the best man for my best mate, Michael. Um, I've known old mate here for over 15 years now, and I can say without hesitation that he's one of the best blokes I know. John, do you support Sophie in her marriage to Michael today? Thank you, John, for blessing this marriage. When Michael met Sophie, I think we all knew she was the one. This is one of their favourite places, and I think you can all agree it's easy to see why. I love her to pits. She is, she's the kindest, and it was touched on earlier, most generous, gentle girl you'll ever meet. And it has been sensational, very lucky with down here and um, we couldn't be more prouder than being where we are today as mum and dad with you now married. You. you are here because they love you, with each of you handpicked with care to share the beginning of their next chapter in their life together. You have shown them love, friendship and support throughout their lives either collectively or individually, and for this they are beyond grateful. Before I start though, it would be remiss of me to not mention how stunning you look today, Sophie. You're the epitome of elegance and grace, and you've brought so much joy into Michael's life, and we can all see how much he adores you. You truly are a match made in heaven. At this point, I'm supposed to talk about Michael. Well, that's easy, as he is the most caring, loving, loyal and sen sensitive person I know. He is also very motivated and highly successful in his career, and something of which I'm very proud of. Um, and it is this trait that helped Michael pursue Sophie and lead her to saying yes. So a wedding is not just a party, as much as the party is fun. It's a promise of love. It's a celebration of the past and look with hope toward the future. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure. No ceremony can create a marriage. Only you two can do that. What this ceremony will do and the reason we are all so excited to be here today is to witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together forever. I've been trying to fight it. I should probably say that welcome Michael to the family, but from the first day, we met Michael, he was part of our family. And all I cared about, that she would be happy and grown up and on to Michael. She's, she's met her soulmate. They're both really meant for each other. And um, I'm just so happy that I can look forward to Sophie now having the life she deserves. In life and love, meeting that person who we believe we are supposed to meet is simply the most incredible moment of chance and fate. Sophie and Michael's story is no exception. Theirs is a modern day love story, unfolding in the comfort of their own homes, swiping their way to love. They made plans to meet over dinner. As first dates go, it was perfection. And, was old, and has ultimately set the tone for their relationship. It was such an easy first date. The conversation flowed and being together was effortless. Ordering food was almost impossible as they were so enamoured with one another. Even the wait staff commented thinking they were already a couple celebrating an anniversary. After that date, they started spending all their time together. When he proposed, he included Andrew and I along with Audrey and John in the proposal, which was something that was very, very special to all of us to be included. Uh, I have so many wonderful memories of Michael growing up, to him in his Power Rangers suit, to sitting on the kitchen bench with Sarah, licking the chocolate cake mix out of the mixing bowl, to him giggling with Sarah as they played and splashed each other in the spa we had outside at Chester Street before we put in the pool, 
He was such a happy kid. He loved his friends, loved playing cricket and hockey, and he never gave his parents too much grief. Uh, uh, maybe just a little bit when you were 16. Look, a very proud night tonight, and we're very blessed to have Valda and a few great friends and Mary here to share tonight. And John's words tonight about Soph brought a tear to my eye, and uh, we're very pleased to have an extended family on our side. Uh, we're a family of four, we have a lot of friends like you do, but it's great to have an extended family as well. And we look forward to our Christmases together. It took them by surprise how quickly they felt at home with one another, how they fit seamlessly into each other's life, and how their feelings for each other were moving at lightning pace. Within four weeks, Sophie and Michael holidayed to Broome, where Sophie met Michael's parents, and after dating for four months, they moved in together. From an outsider's perspective, it may have seemed they were rushing in, but for Sophie and Michael, it was such a natural progression. They were lucky enough to work out early on it's the simple things in life that make them happy. Conversations about anything and everything. Dinner dates, speech days, sunsets. And if you stripped everything else away, they didn't need anything as long as they were doing life together. You get lost in the things you want. Swiped right, tick. <laughs> Younger than you, essential. <laughs> Shorter than you, also essential. <laughs> Blonde, tick. Diet consists wholly of hot chips. Tick. <laughs> and makes you happier than I've ever seen. Tick. Sophie and Michael, this day is a reminder of what your love has already accomplished and what it can continue to accomplish in the many years ahead of you both. What I and everyone here wishes for you on your wedding day is that your lifetime together as a team is full of moments of joy moments that make you pause and appreciate what you have and what you are creating together. Moments that you wish would never end and that you continue to make each other smile and laugh now and always. If we need some I ask that everyone here to witness that I, Sophie Greer, take you and Michael Campion as my wedded husband. Michael, you're my best friend and my soulmate. You came into my world and changed everything for the better. From the moment we met, I knew our bond was special and since then we have made so many amazing memories together. Sophie, from the moment you came into my life, I knew that I had met my person. You are my best friend and my soulmate. I love your infectious smile and how it brightens every room you enter. I love how you care for everyone, everyone else before yourself. You have the biggest and most loving heart, always thinking of others before yourself, and you never fail to make me smile or even cry of laughter. <laughs> I promise to always be your biggest supporter and encourage you to chase your dreams. I promise to always chase every sunset with you and to let you sleep in through every sunrise. <laughs> No longer simply partners and best friends, I now pronounce you married and Michael, you may kiss your bride.